Greetings to everyone watching this video. Today I Nikhil am here to do my presentation on my little big idea. Today I have decided to expose the educational system. So first let's talk about the expensive higher education. Great establishments like IITs, IIMs take up to 2 lakh per semester which is way over man's expenditure limit and absurd. Privatization of advanced education has prompted the development of benefit-hungry business people. So how to deal with this? Obviously, it will be by reducing the cost of it, but trust me, maximum they can reduce is 10 to 20,000 and removing 20,000 from 2 lakhs isn't much difference. So how to deal with this still absurd amount? It will be by the EMI system, but due to high interest rates, people lose up to twice or even thrice the principal amount so we have to reduce the principal interest or remove it completely and make it 0%. Now let's talk about some other issues except money. They will be to neglecting of Indian languages, mass illiteracy, brain drain. So what is this brain drain? It is a phenomenon of leaving one's country to find better jobs from other countries. You must have heard from your relatives that their daughter or son got a job in USA or Germany and your parents must have looked at you and indirectly told you to get a better job in a better country. This is brain drain. So how to deal with this brain drain? It will be by proper payment policies, changing work culture and better taxation system. Now let's talk about mass illiteracy. Lack of sufficient education is illiteracy and most poor communities avoid education because most of the education is done in the language English these days and they do not understand this. So we can relate this to not using of Indian languages for means of education. So how can we deal with this? Pre and compulsory education, vocational training, increased volume of government schools will be sufficient to deal with this mass illiteracy. Now to conclude all of this, I would like to tell that human capital is one of the most important aspects of economy and it can be only harnessed through the weapon called education. In countries like Japan, due to only human capital, they have reached heights. And imagine India with such vast population and such human capital. If treated right, we could do wonders. Therefore, we should make some tweaks and make some changes to do so. Thank you.